Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This is the kidnapping league. Then what is it? A rescue. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. This is bad, but we can deal with it together. We're going to need to hurry. How's that feeling? It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have a lot of time. We're about to have a lot less. We three will stop them getting in. Lee, find a way out of here. Yeah, as quick as you can. This isn't gonna help. Just some surgical supplies. Looks like a car jack. This being used on a body. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. You got any better ideas? Okay, it's now or never. Stop! He's awake! He's awake! He's bitten. We've still got to do something. Do we have to cut it off, though? We're trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. But this way? Do we know it works? Of course not. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine, and get the hell out of Savannah. If there's any chance this saves his life, we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? 
believe it. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. If I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem, I'd be happy to have them both. But you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. We? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof sounds good nice and quiet everybody there's some light up there good gotta get my ass off this ladder Yes, then. Lee! Lee! Oh, God! Are you alive? Wasn't this city empty not too long ago? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There's thousands. Did they follow us here? It seems like it, but that can't be, can it? That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. What about the train? Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I, uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. It's the bite. Just have to deal with it. Just let us know if you start feeling funny. Like, if things are happening. I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We need to get down there and find a scared little girl. Let's try to get our bearings.
See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. If we get over to that bell tower, we might have some impact on all those walkers out there. But then we just run through the streets? I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. We need to get off this roof. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. When it all comes down to it, if it's just you and Clementine for some reason, I think you'll have plenty of reason to want to live. Don't talk like that. The way things have been going, I don't have any choice, Ben. That looks like Crawford Square over there. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Here's a way down. Yeah. If half the dead population of Georgia wasn't wandering the streets down there. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. Buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You shouldn't be the one to go. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Hurry. Yeah, I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! A few solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. way tons of them jesus now get back here i think i have to jump there's no way back fuck be careful you got this you got this motherfucker
Fuck, man. I don't know if I can make it. We gotta go! Jump! Let's get the hell out of here! They fucked us! What? Who? Vernon. He didn't have Clem. So where the fuck is she? With someone else. We're going after her. Fuck. Just... Jesus! Wait, the cancer patients did this? Yeah, they were waiting. Tired of living underground, I guess. They kicked the shit out of me and tossed me in here. How you doing with, uh... everything happening there? We were going to cut it off. But Lee objected. We're all gonna end up one of two ways. That's great that you can be tough about it, but how do you feel? It comes in waves. I took a couple spills getting back here. So keep an eye on me. <sighs> Jesus. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. You dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill. Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse and I don't know! So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! They 
shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Ben. Kill anything that gets in. You know you're talking to me, right? Ben, just do it! Omid! What is it? Front doors! Please! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Everybody, we have to hide and then find a way out. Lee's right. This place is secure. We're patient and then we get going. <laughs> Fuck! New plan! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Need? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm... I'm gonna... have to... just... Lee, 
Lee, get up! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it! We can't panic! How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have made you take it off. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. Oh, I'm really glad I got you looking out for me, for Clem. This is just fucking great. Relax, Lee. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Just wham! Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hard, like when you break a bone. A tingly. To sleep. So you would get this guy. What do you think? We figure out who he is. And why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you... Um... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. Find her family, okay? Somewhere she'll be safe. Don't do this. I want you to hear me. I hear you, 
But I'm not having this conversation. Krista. We could look after her. As long as she has a family. You hear me? Yeah. Of course. What about him? We uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No. That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of their son. Jesus. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hun. You can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. <sighs> I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up.